guys, welcome back to Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, today's video is gonna be about the whole process with the pig, raising it, getting it processed, what it cost, and was it worth it. Um, so we just got back from getting our smoked meats. Um, in the earlier video I showed you, you know, the sausages and pork chops and stuff that we put in the refrigerator. But I just wanted to make a separate video and just go into it a little bit more detail. So, here we have the processor's ticket. So I'm gonna break it down. I mean, it's, it's broke down. So, 204 pounds was the pig. That's the meat we got. <clears throat> That's the process and they charged us 60 cents a pound. It come out to 122. So, 64 pounds of the 204 pounds was cured meat. Bacon, ham, stuff like that. So that was an additional 60 cents on top of the initial 60 cents. So $1.20 a pound for the smoked meats. And then there was a single kill charge for $45. So the processing come out to 205.80. Now, <clears throat> additional to that 205 is your food, your bedding, uh, stuff like that. And I'll break that down on the screen right now. Um, in the food, we had about $300 in the food from April to October 1st. In the bedding, it was a, a bag of shavings per week, and the shavings were $5.99 a bag. So I'll put all the numbers on, exactly what we spent on that. I think overall we might have had, with the processing in the food and the bedding, a little under $500, probably less than that. But I'll, I'll put them all on the screen, break it down exactly how, how it turned out. But if you go in a supermarket and you try to buy 205 pounds of pork, you know, pork chops processed and all that stuff, it's gonna be way more expensive, I guarantee it, especially right now. I mean, a pound of bacon's $9. And this is our bacon in here, and we got, let's see here. These are like your ham hocks and your bacon and stuff like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 pounds of bacon in there in that box. So 12 pounds, and that's I would consider that premium bacon. So just say it's eight bucks. So I mean, you do the math, eight times 12, <clears throat> just, just for the bacon. And there's two ham hocks in there, and there's also some uh, just bacon chunks, smoked meat. You know, you throw in like green beans or something like that. So, and then there's a few hams in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the freezer real quick, and then we'll go over kind of what's in the freezer okay it's all in there this is our freezer it's full so we're definitely good to go for a while I mean mainly it's a lot of pork but this is all beef but the hams are up here and then we got turkeys chickens more chickens down below this is all the bulk sausage and hamburger all that good stuff now I am going to have to buy another one of these stand-ups. It's just, right now, I mean, it's full. So in, in March, we have four cattle going. I mean, granted, we'll probably only keep a half for ourselves, but we got to have room, and we're not going to eat that kind of meat when, before that one's done processing. Now, the time we have in it, it's every day, morning and night, uh, cleaning the pens, taking care of the pigs, making sure they're you know, doing okay and all that good stuff. Granted, we didn't have any kind of vet bills or anything with these pigs. Um, and that is the smaller one. The bigger one was, I think, 230 pounds of hanging weight. So that was five boxes of meat that we got with the 204. So I'm sure there was probably an additional two boxes with the other pig. So that, <clears throat> that's what we is got in these it? pigs? Absolutely. I think so. Some people don't. Uh, some people want to do it. They just don't have the land to do it or the know-how. So if I, if I would uh, give an opinion, I would say definitely it's worth it. Um, 
I know what, what went into the food, what went into the pig. There was no, nothing. It was just grain and water. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you guys out there are thinking about raising pigs, tips I can give you, put them on concrete, uh, put them on an automatic feeder, automatic waterer, and uh, just keep an eye on them when they're younger. Watch the temperature outside. If it goes up a lot and then goes back down, you know, just keep an eye out on them. And you know, they don't like to eat when it's real hot out though. But uh, just make sure they're uh, got plenty of water. That's why the automatic waterers are good. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you gained some sort of knowledge out of it. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.